So the main question right now, it looks like, is Democrats are calling for authorization, a war powers resolution, yeah. but they didn't do that with Obama in Libya. Why do you think an authorization would be required in this situation with Iran going forward, and would you support it? Uh, it obviously wouldn't be required because this was fundamentally a defensive action. Uh, the president has inherent authority under Article 2 to do what's necessary to defend our troops against imminent threats. Furthermore, our troops are in Iraq at the invitation of the Iraqi government and pursuant to a congressional authorization that Congress has never taken time to repeal. Uh, so I think it gets to a basic question of whether you want us to be in Iraq and believe in the mission. Um, and I view this War Powers Resolution, if you read the document, as an unserious document, as a purely political document, as an attempt to uh, criticize the president without asking the harder questions about uh, what we need to be doing in the region to push back Iran. What do you think of Iraq voting to expel U.S. troops, and what does that mean for the situation on the ground for the U.S. military? I think the vote was significant, but for precisely the opposite reason that everyone is suggesting. Um, in fact, suggestions today were that they didn't, that they either barely were able to muster a quorum or didn't actually technically muster a quorum. I think it's 328 members of parliament and only about 170 showed up. Um, and those were largely the Shia legislators that are influenced by uh, Iran. And so I think this suggests, as do the ongoing protests we've seen in Tahrir Square since October, that Iran is in an increasingly isolated position within Iraq. And there are a ton of people there that don't want the supreme leader to call the shots. We want a strong, stable, independent, sovereign Iraq. Iran does not want that. And so I hope that the Iraqi people will choose to um, continue the partnership with the U.S. And I, for one, would counsel the president to remain strong in that partnership and strong in pushing back against Iran. And I commend him for this decision. And the last one for you would be any further action toward Iran specifically. Do you think the administration needs uh, actual authorization from Congress to do anything militarily. I, yeah, well, I think so. Anything beyond the bounds of uh, defensive action or protecting our troops, and certainly anything in the realm of a sustained campaign uh, against Iran, uh, particularly if it's on Iranian soil, uh, would of course require authorization from Congress. I'm of the opinion that we should uh, repeal the 91 and the 2002 uh, AUMFs and have a broader discussion about. Uh, the constitutionality of the war powers uh, resolution, but certainly for a sustained campaign against uh, Iran, I think the president would require authorization. And I think if Iran miscalculates and escalates further and certainly kills more Americans, it would spark a reaction among the American people that would hopefully be heard by my colleagues and we would give the president the authority to do what's necessary to defend the country.